It's really big, yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, so I'd love to just sort of start with a couple of questions for you guys and then we'll open up to the audience. Um, I know it was sort of a really long process, six years is what I've been sort of told and everything. Can you sort of talk about the evolution of how you guys met, how you said yes to putting your life on display like this? It's sort of a big decision, absolutely. So from Dan, sort of how the idea came about and then from Buck, sort of what happened throughout the evolution process. Yeah, actually, I had a film here in 2006 that was uh, a look at um, uh, gender issues through the gender binary of prisons. So it was a look at transgender women who were incarcerated in prisons. And a friend um, heard about Buck and thought that I might be interested in, in taking on this project. And I reached out to Buck, and Buck is fiercely protective uh, over everyone in his life and everyone in that he loves. Uh, so he put me through this intense screening process that went up for a really, really long time. Um, eventually he, he, he gave in and uh, it took six years because the project was incredibly difficult to fund. Um, and that was primarily because of um, folks who were really uncomfortable about a pro-porn film uh, or even a sex positive film. So I really think that's the reason. I mean, the, the amount of rejections we got from foundations was uh, just incredible. So, uh, yeah, first, I really appreciate everybody being here. It means a lot to me and everybody standing here. Uh, like you said, it took a lot to get this film made, which is really kind of sad if you think about it, because I just talk about my vagina. It's not really a big deal, <laughs> but people are so uptight about it. But, um, yeah, when Dan came to me, he just really wanted to do this documentary of my life, and I wasn't ready. I wanted to do a documentary about my porn work because I felt like my porn work was the most important thing at that time. And that I was, I felt like there was a ton of documentaries about trans people, but there was nothing about sexuality in a transsexual person. So I said, Dan, that's what I want to do. And Dan said to me, okay, but I think, or I know in the back of Dan's smart little mind there that he was thinking eventually I would give up and the story would progress into my family and my story, which obviously it did, but I, because I trust him and he became my brother and my friend, and it's really like emotional for me to see myself out there. And even though I'm out there and I'm, you know, to see my dad cry like that, and my family to be put out there like that has been really, um, really intense for me. And um, to see all of you here interested in my work and it makes me feel really proud of my family and my wife and, just the fact that um, as somebody, people are interested in what I have and what I have to say, and the world is changing, and it's taken six years to do that. So really, I, again, I really appreciate you all being here. Thank you. personal process to put yourself on the screen like that and so for me your parents on the screen and sort of that acceptance process was sort of the most touching and sort of you know you, it was very universal I think trying to get that acceptance from your parents and just in general so more personal questions <laughs> what was that like you know when you were talking to your parents about it was going to be on there and then Elaine for you having to be with him that whole time and knowing that this is going to be on camera, this is going to be a difficult process, sort of how did you guys deal with it as you were going through it? <laughs> I need to wipe my eyes. Um, well, like Buck says, I support him in, in all that he does, and so it wasn't really about me, and I believe in his message so much, and I believe in... Um, him as a person and what he's doing and what he has to say. It's really a universal message of self-love and acceptance. It's not a transsexual story per se. And I, I'm just so awed by him and so proud to be a part of his life. And it was not at all hard for me to, to do whatever he wanted, whether that was staying out of it or getting in it or whatever it was that he needed to continue to get his message out there. So he was like, well, you know, what do you think? Do, can, can Dan come and shoot here at home? And, and I was like, do you want to do that? And he's like, yeah, I, I think that would really be good in the movie. And I'm like, let's do it. So, so yeah, I was just along for the ride. But, yeah. Uh, you know, you were 100% there for me like she always is. So she rocks, I'm very lucky. <laughs> and so to ask my parents was very difficult for me because as you see, my dad, 
My dad and me are very similar, as you can see. And so, as my parents, um, we're doing this documentary, uh, and it's about me and my vagina. Uh, do you think it would be okay to talk to you? And they were like, you know, yes. If it's gonna help get your message out there, and like, I just, I'm blown away by my parents, honestly. They have just become these amazing people that give hope to the world and that to people out there whose parents aren't accepting of them for whatever reason that is, can see that eventually if you just be yourself, which is what I did, I just kept being myself. It didn't matter that my parents kept saying certain things, I just kept being myself. Eventually my parents gave in and now they call me their son, and now they don't discuss me around the dinner table. <laughs> They've just accepted me. So I think, you know, it's kind of cool that my parents did that. I would like to be invited for dinner, please. <laughs> um, so next question is sort of for Anderson and Dan. So obviously, six-year process, how much footage did you guys have to go through for the whole thing? Um, and sort of, you know, I think the story evolved quite a bit from being about your porn career to this advocacy thing. Sort of, how did you guys decide and find the story as you were going through everything? Yeah, we sh I shot probably uh, 120 hours of footage, so it's not a very successful shooting ratio <laughs> by Hollywood standards, but it's documentary. I mean, that's so yeah, about 120 hours, uh, which is uh, phenomenal because we're hoping eventually to, to repurpose this for the web and include a lot of the educational content that we couldn't put in this film. So it'll be used at, at some point. Um, what was the other question? Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I think it was really just becoming a part of Buck's life and just different things. I just, we kind of reacted and shot different things as they happened um, throughout his life. And then um, the story just happened, happened um, organically. And again, I, I fiercely protective of mom and dad. I mean, that took a really, really long time. And mom and dad, kind of them checking me out as well. But when it actually happened, I think all that groundwork was um, well laid because I think I think Bill was ready. I mean, he was ready to sit down and tell a story. And I, as a filmmaker, I've, I've been doing this for a very long time, and you're always, I'm fiercely protective of the folks that I interview, and I want people to have a positive experience and that it's therapeutic. And with mom and dad, I wasn't quite sure which way it was going to go. And I really, I honestly believe that it was it was a, a passage for Bill and for Patty uh, to participate. So I, I, that's incredibly rewarding for me. All right, I'd love to open it up to questions from the audience. We actually have a mic right here. You can shout it out if you're here, and I'll repeat it as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laryngitis, I'm glad you have a mic. Uh, Dan, you made a very brave film, and I know it's because the subjects wanted it, but you have uh, confronted